ladies and gentlemen. Um, today's presentation will be focused on the MV Afros. It's a 64,000 dead weight Ultramax bolt carrier. It's the world's first and only bolt carrier installed with Flettner rotors and is managed and operated by Blue Planet Shipping. Uh, I'd like to welcome some representatives from Blue Planet who are here today, also Victoria Steamship, and there was a surprise guest arrived um, from Hios, who uh, was the captain for the vessel from delivery, uh, sailed with the vessel for nine or ten months, so knows the system very well, and uh, it's great that he could make it here today. I'll briefly um, be explaining who we are, and before presenting the MV Afros, um, we'll then conclude with explaining what are good candidate vessels for this technology type. Sorry, sir. Okay. Many of you know, may not know who Anami are. Um, we haven't been around for very long and we were incorporated in 2015. I'll therefore start with a brief introduction of our history and how we find ourselves where we are today. So before Anami was incorporated in 2015, we completed successful research and development phases, including uh, wind tunnel testing um, for uh, wind, sorry, wind tunnel testing, tank model testing for stability, and scale model testing. So that, that's where, where we started. This led to the design and production of our full-scale Flettner rotor system with a, a first-ever composite rotor, um, or wind engine as we like to call it, uh, which is still in operation today at our land-based test site in uh, Newcastle in the UK. Uh, this prototype was constructed in 2013 to test the performance and produce fuel saving predictions from the data collected and due to the success of this technology development phase, Anami was incorporated in 2015 um, after firm commitment from, and, and a vision from the owners uh, to install these systems on ocean going vessels and commercially trading vessels. Anami prototyped and tested the, uh, well, we started prototyping and testing the system in 2016 and installed on the seagoing vessel on the MV Afros and prepared actually a second vessel, an 82,000 deadweight Camzamax, which is a Fletner rotor or wind ready vessel and is actually prepared with eight units. The Afros has four units. Um, this included development of our unique and novel uh, deployment systems for bulk carriers. So the ongoing and rigorous sort of sea testing phase has been conducted since delivery in January 2018 and has covered operational, performance, durability aspects of the system, including uh, crewing. So the MV Afros has recently won the award for Ship of the Year at Lloyd's List. Uh, Greek Shipping Awards in December, and as a result of uh, this, was a result of the innovations and energy saving devices installed. Um, it's a best in class Ultramax vessel from an energy perspective, and this installation has proven that Fletner rotors can operate in the most demanding of marine environments without compromising the business or the safety of the vessel. Oh. So So here you'll see a video of our wind engines during seagoing operation, a demonstration of the trolley and rail deployment systems and the cranes operating during a port stay. At sea, the rotors are fixed in position, in a seagoing position, and designed to withstand survival conditions under LAME rules. But in port, the rotors can be moved along the deck of the ship in order to clear um, port or loading or discharging operations. <laughs> so, 
So for those of you who are not familiar with uh, how a Fletner rotor provides auxiliary propulsion, uh, here's a graphic that illustrates the concept of the Magnus effect. So as the air, flows, uh, air flow passes over the rotating cylinder, you create a pressure differential um, forward and aft of the rotor. And this aerodynamic phenomenon, known as the Magnus effect, creates useful th uh, thrust for the vessel and therefore can either increase the vessel's speed if you maintain RPM or reduce the um, consumption if you maintain RPM. Um, the rotors are turned using electrical power and the thrust is provided directly to the vessel just for any misconceptions. They don't store electricity and they don't, um, they, they don't work as a conventional wind turbine. It's, it's a mechanical sail and the input power is significantly lower than the power that you generate out of the system. And the input power requirements uh, uh, are low, but I'll demonstrate this later on in the presentation. So the MV Afros was delivered at Haitong Offshore Engineering, Jiangsu Province, China. Uh, the Fletner rotor system was supplied using a global supply chain network, as you can see on the slide here, predominantly Europe, China, and the US. Um, Anami oversaw the design, class approvals, construction, installation, and commissioning of the system, and are now uh, leading the ongoing sea testing phase. Um, and that's a very structured test program, as this is an R&D vessel uh, for, for the generation of data and um, insights into the performance. The pink dots that you can see on the screen are the ports visited by the vessel to date in the first 12 months, demonstrating that the vessel has been operating globally, and I believe it's one of the first, if not the first, vessel to operate on a global route like that. So Anami have developed, in, in order to solve a lot of the challenges with the bulk se bulker sector, um, Anami have uh, developed a range of deployment systems to suit different vessel types, such as longitudinal and transverse movement systems, fixed rotors and folding, hydraulically folding rotors so you can take the rotor from the vertical position to the horizontal. They're fully prototyped. These ones are, uh, the, the rail systems are in operation um, and we have a fully operational folding system since 2014 in Newcastle in the UK. The longitudinal system was selected for the MV Afros. So the Afros, as I mentioned earlier, was delivered in 2018 and has now completed more than 15 voyages, 17, uh, sorry, 17 port visits. Uh, sorry, a mistake there. Um, it's over 15 voyages and 17 port visits in the Indian Ocean, South Atlantic, uh, South Pacific and Southeast Asia seas, sailing a distance equivalent to more than 3.5 times around the Earth. Uh, the vessel has experienced obviously many sea states, climates, and port operations with no failures or impact on the vessel's business to date. So there are a few stats there. We've had 245 sailing days. Um, we've experienced our longest voyages are around 11,000 nautical miles. Maximum roll angle, we've exceeded 20 degree roll angles uh, and uh, we've had zero delays in any of the ports due to the system being on board and uh, with a available op uh, operational availability of greater than 97 percent. So the wealth of data that we're collecting during sea testing is being used to analyze effects on the vessel and optimize the complete system. Test data is collected on board from over 500 data channels it's transmitted from ship to shore robustly on a daily basis, and since March we have had zero gaps in this data, so we were very uh, happy with the work that was done there by the team. And we can also view the data live in the office through uh, live dashboards and display in real time, which uh, keeps a connection between the office staff and the ship. So. Bear with me, I missed a slide there. So, um, our rotor is designed for severe load cases. 
survival conditions of 63 meter per second winds combined with 1G accelerations vertically, 0.5G accelerations horizontally, and that's also combined with 30 degree healing angle and uh, wave loading. Uh, we use the data from the vessel to continuously improve the rotor design and the system design and optimize our control systems. And this data is also compared and verified against the uh, highly instrumented data that we received from the test site in Newcastle, which is proving to be a very valuable asset in the validation and verification process. So the structured tests, um, uh, a sample is shown here in, in the figure that uh, I think this is a, this is a six hour sample of the of on on, uh, on off tests with 45 minute periods the black line you can see is the rotor rpm this being zero and the green line is the speed through water sorry the blue line is the uh, speed through water green line is speed over ground and as you can see every time rotors are turned on the vessel speed increases um, and in this example it's increasing by approximately one knot the results are extracted and analysed in conjunction with reputable third parties uh, to assess the measurable and, as we've experienced, repeatable uh, effects of rotors on vessel performance. And because it's an on-off technology, the, the, the results are quite compelling. Uh, so, so far, the results of the sea testing phase have been extremely successful. The data is very valuable and it's proving that uh, there's very little machine downtime, no impact on vessel business, low crew impact, large amounts of reliable and valuable state-of-the-art data being collected and analysed. So, a little bit on the economics. So, Anime are not at this stage trying to sell the technology to everyone. Uh, we want the technology uh, to be beneficial to the owner, operator and vessel crew and the environment. And our approach is to identify early adopters and owners with the best vessels operating on the best routes. So the payback of a Fletner Roach, I think I'm about to, no, I've got 30 seconds. Um, so I'll just go back there. Operating, the, operating on the best routes, the best vessels, best routes uh, to give the technology the uh, highest potential to succeed. And the payback period of Fletner Rotors is obviously affected by many factors, but it's highly dependent on uh, some of the following. So ideal vessels, many steaming days at sea. Obviously, the ship has to be sailing to save fuel. The equipment owners pay the fuel bill. Best routes by season with good winds. Other factors, clearly a low cost installation, driving cost of our system down, high oil price, reliability and availability of the system, and optimizing uh, the controls of the route. So, just to close, uh, Anami's Fletner rotor installation on board the Afros has been a proven success for wind-assisted ship propulsion technology, and the multiple awards the Afros has won is testament to the industry's recognition of, uh, of the innovative solutions that we're developing. Fletner rotor technology is a reliable, real-world solution that is available today to help tackle the issues of climate change, and also attract long-term economic benefits through reduced fuel consumption. Thank you. Thank you.